Now when you come into the change rooms here at the SCG, the first thing you notice is probably the smell. Let's face it, change rooms, blokes, sweat, and uh, let me just tell you, a hell of a lot of booze because uh, both the New South Wales team and a lot of the Australian teams that have played here have won a lot of games. Of course we have. And uh, after the game, there is an appropriate moment to celebrate. Uh, I am fortunate to have been here for some of those. But the, the second thing that you probably notice is just the fact that there's a little bit of an aura about the room. There's, you know, the occasional piece of memorabilia on the wall behind you that reminds you of a big moment. But then you can just sense the memories. I could tell you about uh, where Richie Benno always used to sit because every single player who's played here has their very own private little hidey hole. Richie's uh, spot was famous. He used to walk in in the morning, slide out of his uh, Gucci loafers, uh, and uh, slide into his cricket spikes uh, one afternoon. Of course, the 12th man decided that that routine had uh, got to stop. So while Richie was out on the field, he got a hammer, got some nails, and hammered Richie's loafers into the floor. Uh, right over there, actually. And uh, when Richie came to uh, leave that evening, he slid his feet into the loafers, stood up, and promptly fell right over. Or I could tell you about Keith Miller, the late, great Keith Miller fighter pilot and one of Australia's best ever all-rounders who uh, apparently, so the story goes, uh, quite often walked, strolled into the uh, changing rooms in the morning still dressed in his dinner suit from the night before and of course promptly proceeded to bash the bowling around the park uh, with a smile on his face at all times. Dust the jacket and tie off at the end of the day's play and start all, all, all over again. When you walk into the change rooms for the first time, you've got to be very, very careful where you actually decide to sit because you wouldn't want to be sitting in my seat, I'll tell you. There's a lot of superstition and routine involved with the players at the corner of the changing rooms. And uh, once you tend to find a spot, uh, you stay there for your entire career. Most first gamers, though, uh, end up sitting right in the middle of the floor because that's the only place that's vacant. Uh, good luck to them, but uh, the sooner you get off the floor, the sooner you know you've made the grade.